Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, guys, tonight we're doing chicken Alfredo bake for dinner for me for my portion of the detox. Super excited for this recipe. This is one of our favorite recipes that we ever make. So, guys, if you're jumping on and you're joining me live and you're on Facebook, you see that little live button in the corner? Give me a one in the comments below where you're watching from. If I'm pointing there, there's nothing there. Give me a two in the comments below where you're watching from and comment along just like if you're watching me live. Live, Guys, if you're on TikTok, let me know where you're coming in from so I can say hello to you. I want to know where this video goes because I'm always curious where my content goes. And then for those of you guys who don't know who I am, my name is Celeste, a.k.a. The Aloha Boss. I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada with my family. There's my husband, Ryan, and the two girls, Kyla and Kira. We are originally from Honolulu, Hawaii. Wow, Florida, love it. Harriet, thank you for the share. I appreciate you. Hey, LaTanya, how are you? Hey, Harriet, how are you? Guys, if you're on Facebook, please make sure you do like, love, and share because sharing is caring. Caring is cute. We're all absolutely cute. And guys, again, if you are new to me, drop me a three in the comments below on Facebook and on TikTok so I can say hello to you as well. Hey, Laura, how are you? So guys, let's get this easy, delicious, family-approved recipe on the road because every time we make this recipe, if I do it with chicken or I do it with shrimp, it is like gone. It disappears. And I'm like, what happened? Like, do you guys need meals like that? That your family is just like, I have to eat more of it and more of it and more of it. That's how good this recipe is. Yeah. What? Blue on the right, pink on the left. Up to you. That, that's what um, Nina's shoes look like. They were blue on one side, pink on the other. Nina? Yeah. Nice. From summer, 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 summer season. All right, so we're gonna start out with some butter in my pan because butter makes things delicious, right guys? All right, let's get some butter in our frying pan, in our cast iron pan. So I am doing this recipe, guys, in my cast iron because this is gonna go in the oven to finish off. Ooh, sorry. So we finish up that butter and we're trying to use up a lot of the things that we are use, cooking in this house with because um, we're about to do a grocery haul tomorrow and we're going to get everything that we need for 10 days of meals in this house. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, everything else in between. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Thank you for joining me from California. So we're going to get this butter melted down into our cast iron. So we can start to build deliciousness in this pan. Hey, Kayla, how are you? I haven't seen some of you guys in a long time. Oh my goodness. I miss some of these names popping up on my videos. What the actual heck? All right. So super excited. I have a bunch of new faces on here. I also have faces that I have seen a while ago. And now you guys are coming back and finding me again. I love it. All right, guys. So I do have one tablespoon of butter in my skillet. And then we're going to cook our chicken in this skillet. Thank you, Word of Wisdom, for the follow. Thank you, Diane Mellet, for the follow. I appreciate you. I will follow you guys back as soon as this video is done. So, some of the ingredients you see, some of the things that we're doing here don't apply to this recipe. So, just know that if you're not following me on TikTok, you're missing out on recipe number two that's going to come up. And that'll be the dinner for Ryan and for the girls because they're getting a separate dinner because this is mine like we all know I need food for myself and this is one of those meals if we let everybody eat this I have nothing left thank you big mama's family for the follow I appreciate you so let's get all that beautiful chicken in the cast iron so guys let me know in the comments what are you guys having for dinner tonight do you guys like chicken alfredo? Do you guys make your own chicken alfredo? Like, I need to know all the tea. Because I thought, I used to think chicken alfredo was hard. Because you've got to melt cheese and you needed to make a bechamel and all these things. And then I learned you don't need a bechamel to make. Is it, am I making that right? Yeah. Ryan's nodding at me that I did good. So, yeah, you don't need to make a bechamel with this, guys. So there's nothing, no, no fancy cooking techniques required for this other than knowing how to cut up some chicken, grate some cheese, 
and measure out some ingredients. Hey Shannon, how are you? I'm so excited that you guys are almost over dose, so I can't wait to see you guys hug and squeeze Jennifer. It, it warms my heart. So we're gonna get this chicken cooked up. This is just um, some chicken breasts. You can use chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm utilizing what we got. Tomorrow we will pick up um, chicken because chicken's on sale. And it's going to go as part of next week's meal plan where I think we're you I think we have planned that seven pounds of chicken will be used next week in our meal plan. So we will see because we've got keto chicken nuggets coming up for you guys. Um, our Chick-fil-A version of the chicken nuggets. We've got a Mediterranean herb chicken coming up next week. Hey, Deborah, how are you? Um, we have. Oh, Kira's getting teriyaki chicken for lunch, for school. So we have lots of things going on, lots of delicious food. Hi, fat booties. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. So we're just going to get this chicken nicely cooked because I want it fully cooked before I start throwing anything else in this pan because that's less time that this chicken needs to cook in the oven. That makes it just that much faster of a meal that we're going to have for tonight. And I can get their dinner going because they're getting loco moco with gravy and all the things. And the rice is already done for them. So I don't need to worry about that. Shannon, have you been drinking your water? Guys, have you been drinking your water today? If you have not, this is your chance for a water check. I know Shannon's driving in the car. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you, Shannon. Thank you for sharing me. Guys, again, if you haven't already done so and you're on Facebook, please make sure you do like, love, and share. Because sharing is caring. Caring is cute. And we are all absolutely cute. So we are in back to school mode in this house. Things have gone upside down, sideways, and all the things because not only are we planning food for next week and I have to shop for all of that food, um, we've got backpacks that we're packing, we've got clothes that we're trying to get organized, we've got shoes that are coming in, we've got lunch bags that come in tomorrow, we've got a whole bunch of things. So I've got to make sure everything is planned. And no, guys, if you are like color personality, I am not green. Shannon may differ and say, I am absolutely green. I am not green. I cannot, like, I am not the organization queen. Doing a bottle chuck. <laughs> um, been stopping lots today. Got it. So, if you're like, well, what does green mean? Green is a color personality of how you perceive things and how you do things. So, I am more of a... I am right now currently when we do, yeah, I am a Christmas tree. There we go. I am a little bit of green. Well, right now I'm a lot green because we're in back to school mode, but, um, and I have a very competitive side and I have a very much of a drive. I'm greener than I think. LOL. Ha. Hmm. But you're not green. You're not that organized. I need all the information. You are super blue. I don't even know what I am. Squirrel. Oh, yeah, My two kids are both very green per or blue personalities. So it's very, very ironic that my, my youngest daughter is a blue and red. My older daughter is a blue and yellow. What's yellow? Ooh, that's cute. You guys want to see her shoes? She just moved back. She just changed her laces for her shoes that just came in. So she's going to rock pink and blue laces for her shoes. Why is everything Harley Quinn to So she decided she wanted to change her shoelaces up and do all the things. So she did it. <laughs> right. Shannon is like, I love it. The girls are blue. I love it. I love it. I love it. Shannon is very blue personality. I am not. Hi, Roosevelt. Hello. Hello. Hey, Dina. I'm, I used to be really, really blue, guys, and that's the irony is I used to love to have fun and do all the things, and I still do, that gives me an idea. but my competitive side and my drive side kind of took over a little bit more. With the pink lace and the blue socks, blue lace, pink socks. Do you have pink socks? Yes. Do you have blue socks? Yes. You have blue socks? Yeah. Okay. These are short socks. So today we got a lot of stuff done. Hi Jamie, how are you? We got Kira school schedules, we got water picked up, we got ice picked up, I got some work done, um, 
We got our grocery lists all pulled together. We know exactly where we're going to go, what we're picking up. Um, I had attended a call that definitely like struck a chord with me this morning and I'm just like, that hit my little yellow heart just a little bit. But um, it definitely is in alignment with what I've been feeling, what I've been thinking. So I am super excited for that. Um, and Shannon, we will catch you up on what happened on the, uh, the lab call later on. But there was lots of tears on that call, lots of just people feeling like they were alone and they're not alone. So this is one of the meals, guys, that I am using to help reset my hormones. If I didn't say that already, this is going to help me reset my hormones. Uh, I'm working on resetting ghrelin still, guys. Like today, I can tell you, my hunger was like next to nothing. Hey, Thelma, how are you? I ate like... Well, I did eat three quarters of my breakfast, but I haven't had lunch yet. I'm still not hungry and I'm not, I'm eating when my body says I'm hungry, which is what I am trying to make sure that I am doing because sometimes we eat out of boredom and I'm choosing not to eat out of boredom no more. Your girl cannot afford to be eating out of boredom. So drink your water. All right, let's get a bowl so I can start pulling this chicken out the pieces that are cooked. So I am going to be throwing in extra broccoli because having extra leafy green vegetables type things is all the things that I want to be putting in my body. Like I want to be able to get extra veg in for the extra fiber, for all the extra fullness that it does. Let's see here. So we're going to put extra broccoli in this. If you're making this for your family, the extra broccoli helps stretch out this meal a hell of a lot further. Um, we made the first batch of this recipe on Tuesday and last night we finished up the first batch. So this is the second batch. And for those of you guys who are like, well, what is this detox you're talking about? All the things. This is helping me reset my ghrelin hormone, which is my hunger hormone which tells me that I'm hungry when I'm not hungry and it tells me when I'm full when I'm actually full type of thing. So I want to make sure that that hormone is in check because if I'm eating because I'm not hungry, then my hormones are out of whack, which means then my food consumption is out of whack. Then a whole bunch of things start going crazy and we don't need all of that. So... I'm just trying to make sure that I am starting to fuel my body and feed my body in better ways. And I'm also working on reducing cortisol levels, which is your stress hormone. So I am trying to learn to take things, run with it, don't take things super personal. You know, take time for me, take time to meditate, take time to focus on the important things and let the not so important things go. That's where my life is at right now. So, we're getting this chicken beautifully cooked. So, how's everybody's day going? Hey, Jason, how are you? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. So, I'm going to try to see if I can start going live earlier in the day, and that's why... I said I want to have dinner done before Kira gets home from school because she's my one who gets home later from school. She starts later, goes, comes home later, but she's also my one who has sports after school. Um, so I need to make sure that she's got food that's going to fuel her body. Thank you for sharing, Jason. I appreciate you. Um, so I'm making sure that she is fed appropriately. All right, let me drop my heat just a smudge. We've got all that beautiful chicken cooked. Mm, 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 mm. So, Kyla, can you check the iPad, please? I hear people talking. 
I hear people talking. Mom, what? Fix my thingy. I need a new fix one. Fix my thingy and I need a Thank new God. one. My blue and pink socks are the ones that's missing the other side. All right, let's get our butter in. Who is it? Nobody. Oh. Carol just left her, her thing unmuted. Oh, that's why. I was like, I hear voices in my office, and I don't know why. Besides the music? I don't hear music. I just hear voices. All right. We're going to get this butter nice and melty, melty. Brown butter. I want to lift up some of those nice chicken bits from there. Hey, Laura, how are you? Hope you're having an amazing day. It is down. We're going to get some cream cheese in here and melt the cream cheese down. So we're going to get our butter. We're going to get our cream cheese. And I always scale my cream cheese, guys, for recipes. That's one ounce. There we go. So let's get our cream cheese in here so it can start melting down for us. All right, so that's our cream cheese. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna add in our heavy whipping cream next. What are you two doing? I need another one. I'll only change seasons. I only got summer. You don't have a winter insert? Uh, uh only a summer insert. Okay, well we'll get a winter insert later. All right, we're going to get our heavy cream in. Dina, I think Janine's adding this to her meal plan next week. I know her and Pat love this recipe. All right, cream cheese, heavy cream, butter. Like, this is the makings of deliciousness, right, guys? Hi, Diana. How are you? We're going to get the cream cheese fully melted down in this stock broth thing. Butter, cream cheese, heavy cream. We're going to add our Italian seasoning to this. Next. Where did I put it? So we are going to add some Italian seasoning to this. And you guys don't need a lot of it. Add our Italian seasoning in, and then we're going to add some garlic. So, ironic thing in my house is I try not to run out of things, and somehow we manage to run out of garlic before, we, we, before grocery shopping day, which is super rare in our house. So we're just going to use the granular garlic in its place. It's fine. It's not going to kill us to wait one day to get granulated, to get fresh garlic. So we're going to stir in all of that deliciousness. And start building this beautiful sauce. We're also going to get in our chicken broth into our sauce as well. And then we're gonna start getting some cheeses in here. But guys, how easy is this recipe so far? And we're building the Alfredo sauce already. So let's get this cream cheese in because the cream cheese has been warmed up already so it's gonna melt nicely into this beautiful sauce of ours. This is 
so good. And get the spices all mixed in. And then we're going to bring this to a boil. Because we want to start reducing this sauce down nice and pretty before we add in our cheese. So we're gonna add more cheese to this. There's like three kinds of cheese. One, two, four kinds of cheeses that go into our Alfredo. And all we're doing right now is building delicious flavor profiles. And this guys is gonna taste like you cooked all day and you didn't cook all day. Which is what I love. Because I am a super busy mom, you guys don't know. Kira plays volleyball six days a week. Kyla's going to be, and she's also going to become a seventh grader on Monday. She's officially a seventh grader. She's got her seventh grade schedule. Kyla is a junior, and we're getting ready to do all the ACTs, SAT type things with her. And lots of stuff going on in this house. I still run a business and I do a bunch of other things. All right, let's get our pepper jack cheese in next. So that way that can start melting into our beautiful sauce. This adds just a little bit of spice to our life. And start getting that all melty in. And you'll see that once you add the cheese in guys, the sauce thickens up really, really fast. And that's just the first cheese. Oh, the second cheese into the pot. We're gonna add the third cheese now. We're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. And we're doing two thirds. So it's probably the rest of this bag and a little bit of the other one. We're going to need the other bag, and I'm okay with that. So let me get this first little bit of parm starting to melt into our beautiful, beautiful Alfredo. Yes, ma'am. Do you notice no pink scissors? No, ma'am. You guys see how thick that sauce came just by a little bit of cheese? We're gonna get the rest of the Parmesan in. Sprinkle that bad boy in. How's everybody doing? Y'all are so quiet today. Remember we have lots of chitter chatter going on. It's all good. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. Look at that thick, cheesy, rich sauce. All right, we're gonna get our chicken in and then we'll get our veggies in. So let's get all of this beautiful chicken back in our pan. I'm gonna get this coated in this beautiful sauce first. And then we'll add all the broccoli in. What's for dinner this evening? Andrea, this is gonna be chicken Alfredo bake. So we've been making the Alfredo sauce from scratch with all the cheesy goodness. We're gonna add in our, we just added the chicken in, I'm gonna add some broccoli into this. Or a lot of broccoli. So I'm using frozen broccoli that we've had left in our freezer. So we're dropping in a whole lot, a lot of broccoli because again we are freeze our pantry cooking if you guys didn't know no nope, you're fine it's all good because we still have one more meal to make after this recipe and guys if your sauce is a little too thick you can always add a little bit of heavy cream to loosen up your sauce just a teeny tiny bit this is so good and it is just bubbling away deliciousness. 
And guys, this helps you helps me burn fat, which is the irony of this all. Because everyone thinks that eating healthy means you have to eat really bland, really disgusting food. This is not bland. This is super flavorful, super cheesy, super yummy. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. This is that get in my belly moment. Mm. Doesn't that look good, guys? <laughs> this makes my heart sink. I'm just gonna add a touch of heavy cream to loosen up my sauce just a tiny, tiny bit. Let's get that incorporated in. I am so excited for this. Right. Gonna even that out just a smidge. Doesn't that look good, deliciousness? Okay, all right. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna top this with some more cheese. I'm gonna top this with some Parmesan cheese. That is on Saturday. No, Dad is. Okay. I'm like, I thought you were telling me you're cutting your hair, and I was like, yeah, that's Saturday. We're gonna add some basil on the top of this. I like extra basil on mine. If we had fresh basil, I would definitely chiffon on my basil and put it on top at the ending of it all. All right, let's get my oven turned on because we're going to put this in the oven, let it heat completely through. Should only take a few minutes. And then I'll throw the broiler on, get the cheese nice and bubbly and gooey and brown and delicious. So Facebook, if you guys haven't already done so, again, please like, love, and share. Because sharing is caring, caring is cute. We're all absolutely cute. If you want access to this recipe along with tens of thousands of recipes and you're on Facebook, drop me a four in the comments below and I'll make sure we get you tagged in this recipe. If you're already in my recipe group, we will make sure that we got you all squared away. You guys are the easiest ones to get in and make sure we get the recipes too. If you are on TikTok, click on my name on the screen. Pop over to my profile page. There's going to be a link that says milkshake on it and click the milkshake link. What is the name of the group? If you are in the group, it's called Simple Proven Results. Um, click on my name, jump over to Facebook, send me a message that says that you want access to the group. And then if you want the Alfredo recipe, if you're wanting the chili recipe or whatever recipes you're looking for, I will help you get into the group as well. So let me get this in the pan, in the oven. Also Facebook, if you haven't, uh, if you and I are not friends already, tap anywhere on the screen, tap my nose, those three dots will come up, hit the follow button, turn on your notifications, and send me a friend request. Because one, I'm an awesome friend, and two guys, if you want into any events and challenges I do host, you need to be connected with me as a friend. Our next event starts on Monday, so today is the last day of open enrollment that I'm taking new clients on for our jump program, which is our 14-day accountability program. Um, so if you want into that, make sure you drop me a five and I'll make sure we get you all access into that. Can I have a other mitten? That's where we have our recipes. You're fully coached through water and everything else in between. So let me get this out of the way. In my oven. So, Facebook, if you want information on that, drop me a five and I will make sure we get you all of that information. Uh, I think we're done with it. So, guys, otherwise, Facebook, we love you guys. We appreciate you. I'm, follow me on TikTok because that's where I'm going to finish up their dinner. 
It's at Aloha Boss one on TikTok. So with that, Facebook, we love you guys. We appreciate you. We will see you guys later.